So hello everyone. My name is Muhammad Asad Sheikh, and today we are having Prakhar Mishra for this interview session. So hello Prakhar, how are you? Hello sir, I am fine. So are you ready for this mock session? Yes sir, I am ready. Okay. So let's start. Can you please introduce me also, Prakhar? Yes. Mm, my name is Prakhar, Prakhar Mishra, and I'm from the Holy City Varanasi. Talking about my education, I have done my class 10th and class 12th from Sant Atlanan Convent School, Varanasi, which is affiliated to CBSC board itself. Uh, sir, I come from a joint family, and uh, my parents, my father, he is a, a businessman, my mother, she is a homemaker, and apart from my parents, I have an elder sister too. She is currently pursuing BSc Agriculture third year. Sir, my hobbies are to play outdoor sports, especially cricket and kabaddi. In my free time, I used to watch some movies and web series. Thank you, sir. That's all about myself. Okay, so that's great, Parker. May I know when you have played cricket last time? As you have mentioned, that is your hobby. Yeah, sir. Recently, with my friends. Uh, yeah. So, can you please tell me what are your achievements? So, so basically, uh, in my school days, uh, I participated in youth parliament, uh, which was university level, and uh, I have got second rank in that. Okay, so that's great. Uh, okay, Prakar, can you please tell me what kind of business your father is doing? So, basically, my father have a business for real estate, sir. Real estate business in which uh, we build buildings and sell it. Okay, so I think that's a huge profitable business. So why you are not following your father's footsteps and why you are joining Virgin Navy rather than joining your father's profession? Yes, sir. Uh, as you mentioned that uh, it is a uh, profitable business, but sir, it is a profitable business for the one who have lots of uh, uh, back uh, background or uh, you can say that. Uh, uh, thing uh, you can say that the persons who have lots of capital uh, to back them but uh, for the small uh, businessmen uh, i think this is not a good uh, uh, business as uh, the time it takes to make the uh, whole billing and after selling it uh, we get very less profit that's why uh, sir i think this is the business for the person who have lots of capital not uh, the small businessman so that's why sir i am not joining this uh, profession Okay, so may I know the reason of yours joining uh, before, like behind the joining of Merchant Navy? Yeah, sure, sir. So basically, sir, my uncle is a master mariner. So since I, uh, when I was a child, uh, he used to video call us and show us the insights of the ship and uh, his cabin. So basically, I, uh, me as a child, used to very excited about it that, yeah, there, this is the cabin of ship and uh, many things more, which was very uh, which creates very curiosity in, in me. And when I grow up, I talk to him about Merchant Navy and uh, I feel more familiar to the field as I feel that it's a very interesting field. And uh, after that, I made my mind that, yeah, I, this field uh, is for me. And uh, as I've already mentioned, sir, seeing, my uh, seeing my family's financial condition, I believe that I need to be financially, uh, financially stable in my early 20s to help my father and my family financially. So that's why I want to join Merchant Navy. Okay, so can you please tell me why you are preferring Angloston most? Why do you want to join Angloston and not any other company? So Angloston, sir, Angloston being one of the oldest uh, management shipping company, uh, it provides us with lots of uh, exposures. Like we can go on container ships, bulk carrier, oil tankers. So in our cadet ship, we can experience different kinds of uh, vessels. Okay. Uh, so that's why I prefer Anglo. And uh, one more thing, sir, my uncle is a master mariner in Anglo itself. So I think uh, this will be a good company for me. Okay, so that's great. So can you tell me, Prakar, what do you mean by Ohm's law? Yes, sir. According to Ohm's law, the current in a circuit is directly proportional to the applied voltage or uh, uh, applied voltage or voltage across the circuit. Okay, so may I know what do you, what do you mean by magnetic flux? Yes, sir. So magnetic flux, uh, it can be defined as the number of magnetic field line passing through uh, an enclosed uh, surface uh, perpendicularly. And what is its SI unit? The Weber. Okay, so can you please tell me what do you mean by Newton's law of cooling? 
okay so according to newton's law of cooling the rate of cooling of a body is directly proportional to the uh, temperature of surrounding temperature difference of uh, the surrounding of the body okay so can you please tell me what do you mean by pascal's law pascal's law yes sir according to pascal's law if we apply a pressure in an enclosed liquid then the pressure will be transmitted throughout the liquid undiminishedly okay so can you please tell me an example or an an application of pascal's law uh yes sir uh, hydraulic lift okay so just tell me how many oceans are there so there are five oceans okay name all of them so pacific atlantic indian ocean uh, southern ocean and arctic ocean okay So, oh, can you please tell me which ocean is the busiest ocean in the world in terms of margin? So, Atlantic Ocean is the busiest ocean. Okay. So, can you please tell me what is the capital city of Bangladesh? So, Dhaka. And what about Nepal? It's Kathmandu. Okay. So that's a great prakha. Uh, now your interview session has done. I want you to say something about IMU mate. How you see yourself before and after joining IMU mate? Yeah. So basically, sir, uh, the reason of my failure in August batch was like I'm. So, sir, may I tell a story about it? So, yeah, sure. Uh, I have already mentioned that my uncle is a master mariner. But, sir, uh, joining a merchant navy uh, in uh, uh, very initial days is very crucial. So, one as a cadet need to be very uh, uh polished by the mentors and the things that are basically coming into the exams and the interviews but we as a unaware students or unaware aspirants do not know basically is the things which actually comes and we go and study all the things so in my case sir when i was uh, uh, giving my anglo eastern interview i uh, thoroughly re uh, revised all 11th and 12th which actually messed up because i don't know what the things are actually coming to me in the interview but i am you made give me the right path and right uh, mentors that uh, actually give me the things which i have to learn only because sir uh, uh, in achieving something we need to know what is coming and uh, we should leave that what is not coming okay so these are the things uh, in which i am you made is uh, helping me like uh, unlimited interviews i am uh, uh, feeling that i am improving day by day and the mentorship is very good here so i guess these are the things that i am mean, it is in helping with me okay so that's great parker and that was it was really a great interaction with you okay all the best for your preparation okay Thank bye you so much.